What's going on guys? Last week we started building the tire swing carrier. Today we are finishing off the tire swing carrier and we're making a start on the fuel carrier system. So stick around and I hope you enjoy. All right, so I've got a bit of thinner material which I'm gonna to use to make a bracket. Um, I'm only gonna do the one. I don't think I need any more than that. Um, weld that on and then we'll start looking at getting this sort of front piece all flat down. So we'll do that. So the plan for the tire swing is going to be something like this, right? So I'm longer on the top and then I'm going to keep the top in for this section and then cut out that whole bottom piece. Just like that. So I also put a bit of an angle on up the top there. So uh, hopefully that's good. So uh, I'll take that on the position and then we'll uh, focus on the brace and the front plate. All right, that is welded on. So we'll get that back on the car and try the plate and uh, go from there. All right, wasn't filming, but it's tacked on. Back angle on back angle on back angle to sort of try and get something that represents that boot line transferred onto this. So I'm pretty happy with how that looks like that. Uh, I'll just go and weld it all on and then we're going to do one, two and three. And on top of that, we'll just throw a gusset like that and then a little back brace just like that. And that is it. And then this one. So I've just got to buy the fuel carrier setup that I want. Probably try and do two flat low profile. Otherwise, it's going to have to be side by side. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, two braces are in. Uh, I'm pretty happy with all that now. I'll uh, test fit a tire onto this, get some points marked up and try and find some threads to, to weld on. So one, two, three, four. Uh, now it's gonna find some thread and I can't go out because I just had a COVID test, so. So by absolute fluke, I've got a jerry can here. Originally, I was gonna mount two side by side facing outwards, but with the tire swing uh, painted and ready to go, and the tire sitting pretty much exactly at 900, two of these side on, bang and bang, is absolutely perfect. So I am gonna build the tire carrier with them side on. That way they sit a little bit lower profile um, and they're not, bloody hanging around like this, they're nice and snug to the cab. Alright, so that's the first end. I'm keeping the faces running the whole length, so all I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to put like two little tacks either side and then get this, uh, get the other end, make sure we get this nice and small. So this is welded into position. This is just the base plate. That, whoop, that is gonna sit like that. I'm gonna go higher. So when it sits, I'm gonna in here. That way the clamp to keep this thing latched into position will be able to go underneath, which is just a simple toggle. But yeah, mate, this thing's square to square to buggery. So that'll go on like that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna smash this out, uh, get it finished and then get it welded on the car. All 
Right, that's all tacked in. So I'll run around, weld all that in. What I'm gonna do is, I'm probably not gonna like weld this entire thing in. I think that's unnecessary. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some like back blocks, something to weld this way. And then I'll probably stitch weld this, you know, like, you know, 50 centimeters every 100 centimeters kind of thing, top and bottom. And then I'll probably just seam seal the rest. Uh, as for like these insides, I'm gonna seam seal all that as well. It's just too much welding, I reckon. This thing's welded to the gills now so cool in addition to all this i've just bought some little rubber stocks uh they're gonna go they're gonna go on the underside here um and i'm gonna sort of put them either like on a thread or just pack them out so that when they sort of sit in they're like a mill clear of the bar and then when it clamps down it's we've got like a nice rubber bearing onto this so that in shakes and bumps we're getting as little movement vertically through corrugations and all that it's all gonna be absorbed directly and not through all my shitty welding. Man, I know these videos feel like a whole lot of boring welding, but man, when you see this thing come together, fuck yeah, man. <laughs> How fucking cool is that? The angle of the, the back angle on this one's pretty noticeable, but fucking hey. So the other thing is I'm not going to shave down any of the welds to be flush finish like the rest of the bar. Uh, I want to keep all these welds because they're strength. Uh, this stuff's pretty skinny. Uh, and then just sort of mark a center point and put a couple of brackets in. And that's that, mate. Fucking A. That's so good. All right, these are the wheel nuts I'm going to be mounting onto the back of the tire swing. And then a bit of seam sealer for the fuel carrier. So I'm going to get these sort of set up. So I'm going to drill these holes out and I'm actually going to poke them through and weld them front and back. So hopefully that'll look good. they're on i didn't have to weld them like the i just bashed them through all right let's try the wheel Now these don't line up perfectly. I might have to adjust them. They're a little too narrow together and I don't want to start wringing this out. I want to be able to do these up nice and tight. So as for clearance on the back, this is a negative 22 tire. So that is spot fucking on. That is grouse. <laughs> that, is fucking on. that is just unbelievable. Just incredible. Tell you what, this has been an absolute war of a job to do. Um, thank you so much to everyone that's watched. And I, I do appreciate you all. All right, so I realized that I bought the wrong stuff. So I've just penetrated the whole thing um, in all the gaps and then I'll just put a liquid paint on it um, and I can Black seam sealer in later. I thought I had some left over, but sorry about this dog. So yeah, I'll get this all painted up once this penetral dries and then um, seam seal the rest. And uh, yeah, I'll just seam seal it later. But hell yeah. 
So that's it for this episode, guys. Uh, if you like it, please consider liking or consider subscribing if you're not already. Next time you see this, we will be working on electronics. I have some lights, reverse lights, and all sorts of other stuff. I'm gonna finish painting this thing off camera. Uh, also, we've got the latches to put in as well. So with that all said and done, have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.